Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums. This is my Crafty Goals video on what I accomplished in June and what I plan to accomplish in July. Uh, you may know that I am a full-time RV traveler. I live, craft, and travel in my RV. So I am doing a lot of traveling this year. So I'm sort of uh, laying off some of the bigger videos and just doing smaller projects that I can pick up and and complete while we're at a stay for three days or two days or whatever and then get it cleaned up all my desk so i wanted to use partial pads and use up three partials let me show you all of the pads that i used i'm so glad to be able to show this to you because i can either put them in my discard pile or um recycle them or or we're having a campfire tonight so i might use them for that so i finished this i made uh um uh, a binder book not a mini album but a book with binders it's on my etsy shop i didn't do a video on it just because i was happy to be able to use it all up so i that i had a little bit left over from this make splash collection and i made a mini album i did a video on that it may not have been posted yet but i did not use up that stash i had this mermaid pad in my stash as you can see i used some of the cover I made uh, several different things on that, and there's a video on that. I'll link it if it's been posted. I've made all the videos in advance that are going to post once a week, just so I I um, have n don't go too many days without posting. And then I don't know if I used this up last month, but I did use this all up. Made um, just some smaller mini albums. Oh, this is more of that. Uh, vintage seas i had some of this left over it was from a design team project uh from a retreat and i made the project and then i had some scraps so i used all that i had this i finished with that i made some cards i really like how the cards came out so i finished that i had this i used the scraps of that this was last month i used that and then here's the rest of that simple vintage vintage seas i use that looks like i did a lot a lot of them were really small projects but in any case i did use that i made a bunch of cards this month i saw something posted in my uh grand design facebook group that's the kind of rv i have uh and it was through sunsets and campfires and they are making cards they were having people come over to a place in florida and just um making cards for hospitalized kids they're making them by um drawing pictures and whatever just sending notes to cars and although i'm not that good at a, a drawing i thought i could make cards so i did uh post something on facebook on all of these cards a friend of mine hope got the stamping up paper there's no ephemera with it so i took some of my copic markers and just uh grabbed some stamps this was from avery l it was a monster stamp set and i just colored some monsters to match with the paper and just made a bunch of cards i also had some dies from doodlebug that were monsters and i just made a bunch of cards with those i just thought they were cute and they came out good and i will mail them the next time i am sending cards i had this was that birthday party paper so even though the cards for hospitalized kids are not necessarily birthday they're just encouragement you know just thinking of you and uh and that kind of thing this is what i had uh i made them and i'm sure they could use um birthday cards as well these were the original cards that I sent from the mermaid paper. I just, you know, just sort of made my own thing up. I did not use card sketches. These are some that I actually forgot to put in the box. I sent 65 cards. Here's the other 10. I would have had 75. But I think I made about 130 cards in June. So I'm still in a sort of a card making mood. I've got some ephemera that i'm going to make cards with and after that i'll probably put the cards down for a little bit and work on something else so let me show you what i have planned 
for July. So, um, for June, I wanted to use my partial pads. I didn't have any deadlines or commitments. I used all of those. I just showed you what they were, but I used a bunch of different packs. I used my stash. I first wrote, did not purchase anything because I was uh, doing the month video about two days ago. And then in between, I stopped and I got 15 sheets of cardstock and I picked up a thing of ephemera to go with the cards that I'm making. So I did buy something this month, but as you can see, I've used a lot. So my goal is always to use my stash and my goal for July is enjoy life. I'm not doing, like I said, I'm not doing any hardcore videos. I still have another beginner mini album video that uh, needs to come out at the time of this. It'll come out on Saturday, which may be passed. It will be passed because the first is later on. Um, for deadlines and commitments for July, I am a guest designer and I will make an announcement coming soon. Really excited about that. Uh, my projects for the month are more cards for the SE. RV serve, um, the cards for hospitalized kids, my guest designer that I'm going to do, and um, I do a big Halloween project on my Etsy site, so I've got to finalize the details on that. I need to determine my color schemes, order as much as I can ahead of time. It's for Halloween, so I know not all the new Halloween products are coming out, but there's still a lot of stuff I can get before that it's just sort of tricky because I need to know what the main colors are, which is usually um, I just have to see what the new stuff is coming out. But I, I, I can get a lot done ahead of time. So anyhow, that's what I plan on doing this month. Um, use more than I'd buy. I plan on using up two partial pads and then whatever else I get to do. I also know I will be probably shopping. I'm meeting a friend from the design team. Can't wait to see you, Michelle, uh, when I'm near her neck of the woods and we'll probably go on a little shopping trip. So I'll let you know what I get then. Really quick video just showing you what I plan on doing for July. And I feel like I've gotten a lot done from June, even though I didn't think I was going to get anything done because, like I said, we're traveling. We're traveling with a couple that has not been out west and we're we're seeing all these different areas and um just enjoying ourselves like today we went to a farmer's market and got some delicious produce if you want to see where we go go to my instagram getting underscore there g-e-t-t-n underscore there and that's how you can see the places i go if you want to see if i'm in your neck of the woods that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check out all of the other collaborators. And thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Have a fabulous day.